Hey everyone, it is uh, Wednesday, January 11th, and you're at the DEI Working Group for Chaos. Welcome, welcome, welcome to everybody. We are getting up, started a little uh, slow <laughs> because we're trying to go back and remember what we were talking about. So, um, but we, I think we're figuring it out. We were talking about some um, Chaos Con promotions that we're going to try to do, especially with regard to the diversity access tickets that are available for that conference. Um, I can go ahead and share my screen. Oh, spam is calling me. Good. Hopefully, I love when spammers call me. It's great. Um, I'll go. I mean, I'll go ahead and facilitate just because we're like we don't, you know, we don't know what's going on. So I'm happy to do that. But um, actually, let's do that for first and foremost. Let's figure out who wants to facilitate next time. Any volunteers? Not me. But then I drive during this time. You don't want me to facilitate. I mean, I'm happy to do it. I don't care. I just don't want to. <laughs> I don't want to take over the the whole meeting and like take that opportunity away from somebody. Yeah, okay. I'll pass on typing and driving. <laughs> okay, I'm happy to do it, but if somebody changes their mind, is like, no, you know what, Elizabeth, I would really love to do that. A hundred percent, totally fine. I would love for you too. So, um, okay, so uh, last time we were, or actually, I don't even know if we were talking about it last time. I put it in Slack, um, this idea of an onboarding team, and it would be a group of folks who have been around the chaos project for a little while, not maybe, you know, forever, but, um, and the idea would be that they would be the ones that would help newcomers kind of figure out their path and just kind of like guide them. So there's a doc here um, that we were starting. Um, and I will put this in the chat also. I like the coming crew name. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so, I, yeah, we just wanted to see, you know, what people thought about this and like if it's a good, wait, I have to cough, hang on a minute. I was so sick last week, y'all. Oh, my goodness. Can I just tell you this really embarrassing story? I'm really glad we're recording, but I got really sick and I realized, I took a shower Monday night and I realized on Thursday night, no, it was like Monday day. Anyway, I realized on Thursday night, I had not only not showered the whole week, I was still in the same clothes. I didn't even change my clothes for like four days. I didn't, what? I don't even know what happened to those days. Anyway, I hope that um, I see like Mary Blessing that you're also not well. I'm really sorry, but I hope that you're a little bit better than I am and that you can change your clothes at least. <laughs> like, it was that good. So please feel better. Anyway, sorry, I digress. Yeah, feel better. But if it's your PJs, it doesn't count as the same clothes, just for the record. It was my PJs. So there you go. Oh, okay. count. I feel better. Thank you, Amy. <laughs> You're making me feel less gross. <laughs> I was like, what am I even doing with my life? Where, what even happened to those days? I don't even know what happened to those days. Anyway, uh, I digress. So the idea back to the meeting, um, the idea for this would be, uh, yeah, so just to help newcomers find their way um, and just like kind of be that group of folks. So it isn't all on, you know, either Ruth to be the one or me to be the one or individuals like it, it would be a little bit more of a coordinated effort. Um, what it would not be is a mentorship, really, like that's a little bit more of a commitment, I think. So it would just be kind of just like a little less of um, a little less intense than like a true mentorship kind of um, kind of situation. Um, and it yeah, would a lot of the a lot of open source projects do do it. Um, in OpenStack, we call it the first contact sig. I don't remember what Kubernetes calls their version of it. Um, as long as they're not like helping people set up anything, you're okay. Um, if you know, it was to help them set up their systems for Augur and stuff. You're going to need specifically people from all the projects. Um, 
Yeah. Because the metricing groups are totally different than the coding groups. So, but anyone could say, oh, you're interested in such and such. I think you need to talk to someone at, in the auger group. You know, anyone yes. can do that. Yeah. But if we need more specific in this group, then you have to have buy-in from at least one person volunteering from every group or it's not going to work. Yes, totally agree. And I think like we, yeah, it doesn't, I don't think this group would be set up to be like a boot camp or, you know, code like advice or anything like that. It's much Just more a of point like of contact. a point of contact and it would be kind of more of like, like a match. So like, an, um, this is what I would envision, but obviously it's up for, you know, change. I'm not tied to this in any way. Um, but the, I was thinking how it could work is like a newcomer would come to chaos. They would request where, however, a form or something they request, the, uh, they would like a guide. Um, and then that request goes to the group of folks who have agreed to be a guide for someone. And then someone volunteers to pick up that request and reach out to that person and kind of be their, their buddy, their one on one kind of buddy of like, this is the person I can go to when I'm not sure what to do or how I, um, you know, find what I'm looking for, like that kind of thing. Um, and then that person would just kind of help them along their way. It wouldn't be like a really long term thing. The idea is to take them from um, if we go back to like kind of this. Uh, um, what do we call it? The the categorizing of folks into like what bucket do they fit in as far as how how much contributions they've given to chaos yet? Um, we're hoping to move them from uh exploring to kind of participating so like they're super new just feeling out the waters a little bit to now they're actually coming to a meeting or they're actually um you know getting a, an issue assigned to them or something like that where they're actually um, participating in some way um and then okay so you're envisioning it as a little more than the people who hang out on newcomer and greet and answer questions because you want something a little more long term and assigned. No, 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 we don't want. Yeah, I, I don't think we do want a long term thing. Oh, sorry. Let me put a link here into the doc. There we go. I think that's the right. Is that the right one? I hope I'll look at it later. OK. Um, so, yeah, it, but um, I don't think it would be a long term because eventually like that person's going to feel like they know where to go th themselves. That would be my my feeling anyway. So do we just want to have something like a group of people who monitor newcomers? Because that's the channel everyone goes to at first. And it might be another intern project, but maybe a bot that pairs people up. But I mean, for the most part, unless it's something personal, you want people asking the questions in public so that others can learn from it. And we can even possibly keep a documentation of, you know, frequently asked questions. So you don't always want a one to one mapping where people are only communicating by DM. Yeah, that's a good, um, that's a good point. Yeah, I, I agree with that because like you might just make people just reach out to just one person and then there's no communication like in public, right? So, do you agree? And I think something else I want to ask is do we also want to put a timeline to it? Like um like maybe a timeline of one month, two months, like to guide the crew member, you know that okay, this is timeline or maybe really like a forever thing. <laughs> yeah, so um that that's a great that's a great question. I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I was thinking like, so you know how we have like the badger team? Like that's a team of folks that work together, but like kind of work individually. Um so I was kind of envisioning this to be another team at Chaos. And so as far as like the timeline, I think, I don't know, I don't know. I, I kind of like the idea of the one-to-one -one only because I, then I like that person, whoever the crew member or the guide or whatever can just like check in with that other person. 
like I am not yeah. great about checking in with our newcomers to make sure they're doing okay and like to actively reach out. And I, you know, like if they reach out to me, that's great. And you know, they have questions, but I think it would just be awesome if we had one person that could like, just check in like, Hey, how's it going? Are you, you know, are you finding things like no big deal? You know, just a little check in. What do you all think that would, then I think that would be maybe part of this. Well, yeah. you could have, still have that assignment and that check in, but in, but instead of, so the, the greeter for want of a better word, you know, reaches out, you know, maybe privately just, Hey, just want to see how you were doing, but encouraging all questions from the newcomer to be out in the open on the channel so they can get a response and that other people can read the response so it's okay to have the assignment but you want to still you know anything that could be in public be in public and if someone like has a you know a personal thing like not that it happens in chaos but hey i was trying to contribute to longer because I know it's a project um, and you know I'm getting these really rude comments from XYZ person and I don't know how to take it that could be a private thing that they send to their their assigned person and that assigned person you know reads through and says oh well it could just be a you know English is a second language issue on both sides you know works it out helps them through it but at the same time, hey, I'd like to start contributing to Augur, who should I talk to, is a question you want in public so that the next person can see it in the channel or it's pinned or whatever. Does that make sense? Yeah, no, totally does. It totally does. Yeah. I think we can also set like expectations or maybe something that will guide both the newcomer and like the um, crew member as well so they know okay this is for this kind of conversations you can use the public channel something to kind of like guide them to just for them to know that okay yeah this is this is what this means maybe it's more documentation or something so, okay. amy to your point earlier about having a bot match folks my only concern with that was that, you know, people may want to just have that control over opting in. And so like, if yeah. I know I'm super busy right now and I can't really help somebody just for example, then I'm not gonna, I don't, I wouldn't want to be matched with somebody or if I'm right. like, you know, I don't, or maybe like, I'm not comfortable getting matched with, a, you know, I don't know, a, a, a dude, I don't know, you know, like it would just as a crew member, it would give me a little more control over like who I feel comfortable with, if that makes sense. Does that make sense? Yeah, the only is thing weird? is you have to be careful of. And, and this goes for, again, answering questions as well. We don't want things to go into a black hole. Also true. Oh, that's a good. So point. did you pick up so and so? Did you pick up so and so? Oh, crap. We, no one picked up so and so. Yeah, I if had it. If you are going to have assignments, you have that right. issue as well, unless there's one person who, re, you know, brings everything in, which makes it a lot of work for that one person, then talks to, you know, the members of the team and goes, hey, we've got this new person, they're so and so, they're from so and so, they're on XYZ time zone. Are you available? But then you're, you still have the bottleneck of a single person or two people. Yeah, I kind of was thinking we would default to like me or Ruth or Shoya as the, um, you know, just as the community leads um, that, would you know, we could pick up um, anybody that uh, was looking for somebody that nobody else seemed to be available. Um, but we could certainly... are cool with the work. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I do that now. So <laughs> like, I wouldn't mind at all. It's like, I do that now, but um, totally fine. I just want to, I was just thinking it would be great to just kind of distribute more officially that newcomer onboarding welcoming work like in a more official kind of coordinated capacity um but i don't know what do other people think and also what should we name it if we do end up doing it what should we name it the group oh. 
we so, have a couple of, of uh, um, oh yeah, go ahead, Delight. Okay, so I was just saying, in one of the communities that I contribute to, we have a program called Meshmates. So like these are individuals that are readily available to help other persons on board into the community. Now, um, we know that so many persons get busy in the process. So we draft like, um, we've drafted out a, an onboarding document that tells you, okay, the first stage of getting to the community, this is what you're meant to do. After the first stage, you get to this. But if you have any challenges at any stage, you reach out to the mesh mates. So now this mesh mates, whenever I reach out to them, they help you out with whatever stage you're in and challenges you're facing at that particular stage. But like, that's how it's done in my community. <laughs> So, yes, no, I love it. That's that's exactly what I was thinking. Like, I love that. I love that. Delight, did you have a comment, question? Yeah, um, to add up to what um, what she said now, um, the point is really fantastic. I want to suggest that too. Um, we can also um, talk about um, stages and onboarding phases, newcomers, um, work that they have to do whenever they join the community. I just wanted to ask, did you have any requirements or stage that a newcomer will have to do before the onboarding session? Yeah, I think this fits into the, there's something, was it the roadmap that we called it that we wanted to do with this best? Um, yeah, like that path to contribution. Yeah, the path, yes. I think maybe, yeah, I think that we can create an addition to. So, we, so would we have people like do that quick start, like those first three things that we have on our quick start first? I'll show you what I mean. Well, I think the funnel, I think this, this was funnel I was looking for the word I was looking for. The funnel we talked about, that contributor funnel. A funnel, yeah. So we have this quick start with these three things that we talked about in, in a meeting last, last year. And <clears throat> so maybe like once they do these three things, then we were going to do like um, a next step, like now go here, or the, here's the next three things that you want to do. Um, is that where we would now kind of involve this onboarding team or would we involve the team before yes. they do any of those things? Okay. Yeah, because if you do it on, from the start, a lot of persons will end up bugging the onboarders with how do I register? How do I sign in? Where's the form? Whereas the website provides all of this. So like it's better to go from the next stage after the introductory stage. Okay, that's fine. That's a nice, nice, nice ideas. Okay. Do we have anyone on this call, and not to put anybody on the spot, um, but if we have anybody on this call that would be interested in being on this team or like helping kind of build this team out, um, I don't know if anybody would be interested. I mean, I'm super interested in it, so I'm I would be interested. Delight, are you raising your hand for a question or are raising your hand to volunteer? Okay, so it's just a for volunteer. I'm volunteering. I'm interested. Nice. Okay, good. Interested chaotic. So um, I guess the next steps then would be if you all want to read through this, this doc and we can maybe use this as just like a starting point and change it however we want and, and kind of build it, build it out um, from here. And then maybe next time, next DEI meeting, we come back and 
talk about what we're planning? What do you all think? Is that too much? Is that too soon? Do we need more time? What do we want to do? I think it's okay. Do you also yeah. want to open it up to the whole community? This isn't just a DNI issue. Yeah, maybe in the weekly meeting next week, because this week's. Yes. Clock as well. Yeah, I wanted, um, I was thinking that it might be best to have the, the roots and the foundation of it built in this group. Um, and, but definitely, I want to open it up to whoever across chaos wants to be involved as a as a tour guide or whatever we end up calling it. Um, I think definitely 100% agree. And also to get people's input too. I mean, I think that is absolutely crucial. So, okay, I'm going to put that down here then. Um, uh, let's see. So Ruth, Anita, Roland, Elizabeth, look at this doc and um, yeah, what else? <laughs> I don't even know how, my brain is like not good today. Um, we will bring back to DEI WG next week. Also put on agenda for community. Okay. Then I will do that action item for me. Okay. Um, and then I'll link this doc in the agenda. Okay. Cool. Thanks, everybody. Um, what else is on the agenda? We have a little bit of time left. Anita, how's your um, survey going? Is there anything we can do to help you? What's going on with that? Well, actually, so far, um, I reached out to a few persons to do um, practice interview. I, I wasn't able to do that last um, December because we are on break and most persons were already traveling. So um, by next week, if I reach out to you, I'm going to create um, a group in Slack to reach out to a few persons for the practice interview so we can have it like an in-house rehearsal before we go out there with the one-on-one -on -one interviews. But right now I'm actually um, trying to organize the practice interviews. So that's where we are at the moment. So far, everything is good. Sounds good. Um, okay, all right. <laughs> what, what else do we want to talk about? <laughs> We're just going right through. Let's look back here and see if there's anything. Um, do we do we want to talk about this funnel for newcomers or um, see? Okay, so last time, these were the these were the stages. There was exploring. We should maybe document this stuff out a little bit better. Um, there was exploring, there were participating, there was contributing, and then uh, that was pretty much it. <laughs> I think those were the kind of the three stages. Um, what do you all think about like kind of putting this in more of a formal document somewhere for the handbook. Yeah. I think for the meantime, we can I think it's still we're still building it out. So we can put it in a different document now. Because like if you didn't scroll down, we wouldn't see it. Yeah, right. Like it's kind of buried. So um are we we're calling this are we calling this the contributor funnel then? Is that what we want to land on? Mm -hmm. Or, or path to contribution, or? Well, I, mean, I don't know, newcomer for now. 
sounds or contributor for now sounds because then it's not just about newcomers or so maybe yeah it's kind of like the journey of you know how people are coming okay um let's document this um from notes below in agenda does anybody want to take that action oh, yeah. um anita said roadmap maybe roadmap might speak nice. yeah Surprise spot contributor wrong, didn't I? Yes. Uh, I like roadmap. That's nice. That's good. And it kind of like goes with our like theme of, you know, map, the subway map that we used for. These. Yeah. Kind of like it. I love this, by the way. Sorry, I digress. Um, so do we have a, someone who wants to work on this? Uh, taking those notes from below and putting them in a starting doc. Does anybody want to try that? I can take it. Awesome. Thank you, Ruth. Let me just create it. I'm assigning you. And that way we can kind of go from there because you're right like this, this is great information but it's absolutely buried in, <laughs> down in the agenda of old meetings so um yeah one other thing um to to mention just not important is not urgent whatsoever i'll just put it down here um archiving minutes uh, we do that periodically. I think at the end of the year, we sometimes archive the minutes from the previous year just to keep this document from getting huge. <clears throat> and I think especially in like the DEI working group and the community agenda, those are the two because they're weekly. So there's a lot more in here than maybe in some other groups that don't meet quite as often. Um, so if anybody wants to do that, um, I think typically we, <clears throat> what did we do last time? Copied it and put it in a Google Doc. Um, and then we just store it on the Google Drive, on the Chaos Google Drive. Is that right? Anybody remember what we did last year? No, I can't remember, but I know that there are some documents in the archive folder. So. Yeah. So it's like a, it's not a, a, it's not like a super urgent thing or, or technically difficult. It's just kind of a pain, but it is something if somebody wants to do it, we can. If, if nobody wants to do it, I'm happy to do it. It's not a big deal, but. So literally just like be copying. I mean, we might want to leave like December's just so we could reference it, it or December's or November's and then anything from like here on copy and paste and, and delete from here and put it into a different one. Because I think this, yeah, so this document, yes. So this document has like July all the way up. So we could certainly take some of these out and put them in here. Chaos DE, yeah, what's this? Oh yeah, so this is all, okay, they put it in Markdown just in case we had to, I guess, have it in GitHub or something. And then we just stored it in this thing. So yeah, if anybody wants to do that, great. If not, that's also fine, I can do it. Hi, Precious. Here's the minutes. We're, we're almost done, I think. We don't really have much else to go over today. Here you go. <laughs> You're fine. Precious lost track of time. Who even knows what time it is? I don't ever know. I'm tied to my calendar 100%. Okay, we have eight minutes left. Anything else to talk about today? I can give you eight minutes left of your day. 
Eight minutes back. Yeah, Elizabeth, that reminds me. Sorry, it's not about doing some content. The meeting's a personal question. How's it that doing? I haven't heard from you about him since then. He's yeah, he's doing all right. Um, he's doing all right. He's he's still uh yeah, still trying. Um, actually, I will. I'm gonna go ahead and stop recording. Um, sorry, sorry, sorry. no, no, you're good. You're good. You're good. Uh.